Why, hello there. This is your good Thomas Friend 74. Here is the second All Engines Go set that I purchased. This one's the one that contains Thomas, the paint delivery set. The major reason why I bought this is because somehow there is the specialized uh, curved track that Mattel is putting into these play sets. And I want to give this thing a try. And it's that one right there. I want to see this one in action. So that's why I purchased this giant set. <laughs> see this says open here. I already opened this box. Let's see engines. Thomas, Percy, Canna, Nia, and Diesel. Look for our show. All engines go. Boy. Oh, I feel about this. Wait. It's time I go ahead and take this set out. So here it is. Here's all the parts that come in the play set. I already applied the sticker, sorry. This giant billboard is a sticker. This house kind of building is a sticker. That part is a sticker. Those and the set of buffers. They're from this little sheet. I get it, I already applied them. And here's the specialized track I just really want to take a look at. And there's the instructions. But now, take the model of Thomas out. I will need to take this out by myself, so hold on a bit. Start with this model of Thomas. Now this is typical for all engines go. Still love how, as you can see, that the squirrels know it's only going to get covered in paint. <laughs> oh, poor squirrel. Just look at that. He's a squirrel. I always explain to how the printed faces is a lot easier than having a separate molded face. And Thomas looks like he's looking down this way and very scared. On this side, you can see there's the, another squirrel on top of a paint can. And Thomas is still splatted there. The top view and the bottom. And remember, this is only compatible with all engines go. It's not compatible with the old very old Trackmaster sets that they used to have. So, I'll go and get a screwdriver. And screw this. Revealing that. And of course, there is that big long switch that they used to have. The AAA batteries inside. Make sure everything goes flawless. Everything is. And here's the inside. Uh, that part there is the whistles. Close that up. Here's a look at this troublesome truck. Oh boy. Glad to get a troublesome truck in this range. As you can see, there's this little axis bar here. That's how the truck is, in, is held in. And that side is really well detailed. I love this. And there's the bottom part. There's a switch lever there, which is of course made for the tipping feature. The 
we're going to see this a little bit later on in the set. Okay, so here's the set fully assembled. I put everything together and here it is. It's just a little oval, so there's nothing to expect. Let's first start with the back. First we have this billboard of Thomas. <laughs> and surprisingly it has footprints. It's paint splattered on the billboard and it is even footprints. It went as far as doing that. That is a specialized set of track. It needs these ramps to go up. But you see those two tabs. Well, that's obviously for the truck to do its tipping feature. Hopefully good to see that. Though, there is this specialized curve track right here. And this is actually the major reason why I bought this, because I want to see this. Now, usually, this this would let Thomas go off the rails because the track is giving way. But Thomas won't because that part of Thomas' wheels will stay on this part. So he's not going to go off the track because he'll still be on this part. This, his wheels will be dangling off. So we got that. Man, I'm really very am interested in this track. That's the thing with these sets that Mattel seem to be putting into these specialized track which always makes them stand out. Like this. We'll get to see this later. Here is the operation station right here. It has these two paint cans, one yellow and one orange. And these have a lot of weight into these. I can feel some actual bit of weight in these. It feels like they're filled with paint. That part there is a sticker, but you can see it's overfilled with paint. Very good how it works. Here is the little station. It is sticker, obviously. There's the squirrel on top of a paint can, and that man doesn't look very pleased at how this is going. Uh, this is obviously a sticker. And uh, these parts are also stickers. The three different parts. One, two, three. There is another squirrel there, and he's going along this the wall of some unusual reason, and they put footprints. But that sucks like some awesome level of detail. And we got the crane part here, which for this crane, is very interesting. It does have a moving gimmick. That part's unfortunately annoying. It does move around. And this crane arm here has this feature where of course, the chain is up, lower, and this part here is to hold this into place, which would work that way. Its main purpose is to pick up these paint cans. But first things first, stop Thomas and test out this new track. As you can see, Thomas didn't go off the rails. Because one side, of him, one side of him has the first set of wheels, mainly on his left side, stays on the track. The one on his right side dangles off. But Thomas doesn't go off the tracks. I really love this. You know, I just wish this one existed in Trackmaster Gen One. It's, honestly. I obviously it will not work for play rail, but for Trek Master Gen 1, it'll look perfect. Okay, so now we'll stop Thomas here. Lower this. Grab one of the paint cans. Or raise this. Put it into the truck. Now 
Now, as Thomas goes into that part, the truck should drop the paint. There we go. Look at that. It has dropped the paint. And I know it doesn't reach, but you were probably supposed to, like, pick up the paint can again, like this. Put it back into Thomas. For another go. But that's kind of fun, how the truck just drops the paint can. Pick up another one. There goes the paint. Sometimes the truck doesn't do its feature all the time. It just happens if it wants to. That's just amazing to look at. <laughs> that is some fantastic fun. So that's going to be it for this playset. Thank you all for watching.